Okay, here's an update on the software defined radio. So some of the big changes. There's now a filter over the detector, which I just bent some sheet metal and covered it up and soldered it down to the ground plane and tapped it down to the ground plane in multiple spots, covered up the biasing circuit, tied in a, a piece of coax to it. Huge improvement, a lot less noise being injected from outside. Found a problem power going to my 74HC74. I had a ferrite bead, some capacitors on the 74HC side, but it set up a uh, simple tank circuit and that was bleeding into the detector. So I added a uh, 0.047 capacitor across here and uh, that squelched that strange ringing that was going on the analog section still the same. I was going to add some chokes and, and stuff to try to filter noise coming back in through the um, audio cable, but never got around to that. I still don't have any front-end filtering on it, but overall the performance is pretty good considering there's no front-end filter on it at all. So now I have an FPGA that's replacing the crystal, the 4X oscillator. It's being fed over by this little coax. This is a little micro board by Avnet. It's got a Spartan 6 and a 66 megahertz crystal on here, which is feeding the FPGA. Inside the FPGA, I'm using its PLL in dynamic reconfiguration mode, which is pretty tricky to do, actually, as I found out. There's, there's no direct ports that you can just change multipliers easily. You have to put this wrapper around it. You have to configure the bits in at the right time or to lock up. Uh, luckily there's an app note on that so and and some reference software that I could modify so I was able to get that going. What I have running in there right now is a piece of hardware that skips through frequencies and is scanning um, right now around 5 megahertz so that's 4x um, frequency so it's actually kind of down into the AM broadcast band. And if we go over to WinRAT, which is on my PC, so we can hear that this AM station you know, is moving across as the FPGA changes the frequency. And eventually it'll get back to where we're tuned in and we'll hear it. There it is. All right, the next thing I need to do is I want to eliminate the PC. I want to get this all done in the FPGA. I want to hook an audio codec up to this and get audio in and out and do the DSP work with the FPGA. And of course, there still needs to be some filters, so I need to make a, a, a relay or a, a MUX board to, to put different bandpass filters in and maybe a few more chokes and things to to filter out interference. But overall, it's it's turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. All right. Thanks for watching and uh hopefully I can come back soon with another update.